Hi, I'm Gabriella, and I go by Fading Wolves. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can import Xsense FBX data directly inside of Unreal Engine 5 and how to retarget this data onto the metahumans. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is go to this website link for the Xsense knowledge base, and we are going to download the MVN Puppet import. It's going to be an FBX file. And special thank you goes to the person who created this. Now I've gone ahead and created a blank project in Unreal Engine 5. And if you are unfamiliar with how to navigate inside of Unreal Engine 5, there is a great overview by Jonathan Winbush that he did for School of Motion. I've attached a link in the description. Now, the first thing I like to do when I work in Unreal Engine 5 is I like to change the layout to the classic UE4 layout. And we are gonna go ahead and import a metahuman. In order to do this, we are going to access Quixel Bridge, which is now integrated inside of UE5. Once this window comes up, you are gonna to have to sign in. I'm gonna log in with my Epic Games account. And once I've logged in, it is going to show all of the assets that I've downloaded. When I click on the metahumans tab, if you're not noticing anything coming up, just make sure that the library path is the correct one where you have all of your downloads directed to. Another thing you're gonna notice is that only your custom metahumans are gonna be available. The preset ones will not be available. I'm gonna go ahead and export Kendra from Bridge and I'm gonna let this load. When the metahuman has loaded, you are going to need to enable all of these three plugin pop-ups and then you're gonna restart. Now I'm gonna locate my metahuman. I'm gonna double click on the blueprint. I'm gonna go ahead and dock this. I'm gonna head over to viewport. I am gonna select the body and on the right hand side, I am going to locate the skeletal mesh. I'm gonna double click on this. And we are now in this new window. We are gonna go to skeleton. We're not gonna see anything at first, so we're gonna go to character, bones, all hierarchy. And instead of viewing this, what we can do is go to preview mesh and we can select the female um, preview mesh. Now I'm gonna select the retarget manager and we can go ahead and close these two windows since we're not gonna need them. We just need the skeleton window. And now we're ready to import our Xsense puppet. So I'm gonna create a new folder. I'm gonna name this Xsense puppet. And inside of here, I am going to import our puppet FBX. I'm just gonna go ahead and select it and drag it in here. I'm gonna leave all of these import settings just the way they are. And if you've messed with these, you can reset to default and we're just gonna import it. Now we are going to double click on the puppet skeleton and select the retarget manager. Now what we have to do over here is select a humanoid rig and we are going to fill in all of this information. We're gonna start with reference, pelvis, spine one, and the um, puppet has four spine bones, so we're gonna start with spine one, spine two, spine three. Once you've filled this area out, we're gonna select show advanced and we are going to add the ball right and the ball left. Now, if your FBX data contains finger data, um, you're gonna go ahead and fill all of this in as well. If you don't have any finger data, you do not need to fill in all of the finger bones. Over here on the right hand side, we are going to select apply to asset. And there's one more thing that I like to do. Um, Cause this took a little bit of time. I'm gonna go and save this. And um, I'm gonna label this the bone remapping for Xsense. And I'm also gonna put the version UE5. What you can do is you can always take this now and load it in to any of your new UE5 projects by just dropping the file into your project folder. Okay, 
So we're gonna go ahead and save all. And now we're gonna go to the MetaHuman base skeleton. Now this is fairly simple. We are going to select the rig, select the humanoid rig. And as you can see, all of this information is already filled out, which is great. If we go to show advanced, all of this information is also in here. Before we proceed by putting the metahuman into a T-pose, we are also going to go over here to the skeleton tree tab. And what we're going to do is we're going to right click over here and we're going to select translation retargeting. And what we want to do is we want to leave the first one and the second one of this list the same, but we are going to change all of the other bones to skeleton. So I'm going to go ahead and right click. And I'm going to do that again, set to skeleton. I'm going to do this for everything in this list, except for the first two. So now we're going to go ahead and put this metahuman into a T-pose. So I'm going to select the arm bone and I'm going to change the rotation to world. I'm going to zero all of this out. And as you notice that the arm is in a weird position, I'm going to enter 180 in here and it's back to normal. I'm going to select the other arm. I'm also going to change this to world rotation and I'm going to zero this out as well. And we're going to go down the list over here. We're going to zero everything out. For the hand, once you zero this out, you're going to notice the hand is in a weird position. So we are going to change this to negative 90. And I'm going to do the other side now. And for this hand, we are also going to change this to negative 90. And now we're going to move to the legs. We're going to zero out the thigh. the calf and the foot. We're going to leave the ball alone. We're going to select the other leg. We're going to zero this out. And as you notice, it pops up in order to fix this. We're going to enter 180 and continue. We're going to zero out the calf and then the foot, leaving the ball alone. Now, again, if you have uh, finger data that you have brought in with your FBX, you have to zero out all of the finger bones. So I'm going to go through the list. I'm going to speed up this process, but what I'm doing is I'm just entering zero, zero, zero inside of the local rotation for every single finger bone. Now, before I continue, there is something I want to point out. I've noticed that when I straighten out the legs for uh, male metahumans, um, for example, I'm just going to go ahead and zero this out right now. When I view this uh, from the side view, um, you're going to notice that the leg is going to be pushed back it's usually around five degrees it's either going to be pushed back by five degrees or forward by five degrees so you are going to have to manually move this into the correct position i usually keep it at five degrees so just keep an eye on this when you're working with uh, metahumans of different proportions okay now we have our metahuman in a perfect t-pose we are going to go ahead and save everything and uh, we're going to go to preview scene, apply to asset. And there is one more thing we need to do is go to modify pose and we are gonna use the current pose. Now, just a little tip over here. Um, let's say you lose the pose and you did all that work. Here's a way to preserve it. Um, you can go over here to create an asset, create pose asset and select current pose. I'm just going to put this in the content folder and label this XNs, UE5, and you're going to pop into this window. And as you can see, it is not in a T-pose. Um, 
So what we're going to do is down here, we are going to drag this and there's our pose. Okay, so now we are back in our um, skeleton window and um, this is what I was showing you if you notice that the pose is not showing up. All you do is go to modify pose and type in extends and load this in and hit import and there is your pose. Now I do want to give a special thank you to Gabriel Paiva for showing me this. Thank you, Gabriel. Now I'm just going to check to make sure everything is looking correct. Everything looks good. So now we're ready to import our FBX data. Okay, so I'm inside of MVN Animate Pro right now. And I've got this animation that I captured. I've HD reprocessed already. And what I want to do is I want to export this as an FBX. So I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go to Export. Export File. I'm going to rename this T-Pose UV5. I'm also going to change the folder of where this FBX is going to go to. I'm going to show options. And I just want to make sure that this is, in fact, an FBX that I've selected. And over here in the options, I'm going to overwrite the first frame with a T-Pose and leave everything else the same and export. Now, back inside of UE5, I'm going to create a folder. I'm going to name this FBX. And inside of this folder, I am going to drag and drop this FBX in here. And this window is going to come up. We want to go ahead and assign the skeleton to the MVN Puppet Import Skeleton. Now, I typically leave all this the same, but um, there is the custom sample rate option. So I have recorded this at 240 hertz. But um, let's say I want to just import this at 120. This is where you would put that data in. And I'm going to leave everything else the same. And I'm going to go ahead and import. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And as we can see, our data has come in. It's looking good. Now we are going to go ahead and right click on this and we are going to select retarget animation asset, duplicate animation asset. And we're going to select the metahuman skeleton base. As you can see, it shows up over here on the right. And we're just going to hit retarget. As you can see inside of your content folder, we now have the animation retargeted to our metahuman. Okay, this is looking good. So I would like to test this out and see what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and drop the metahuman in the viewport. I'm going to create a level sequence and I'm going to select the metahuman and drop her in here. I'm then going to delete the control rig for the body and the face because we don't need that. And for the body, I am going to go ahead and select the retargeted animation. I'm just going to type in UE5. There it is. And I'm just going to adjust this. And I'm also going to make the sequence longer. And now I'm going to play this and I'm going to look for a few things. I'm going to stop right here and I want you to notice that her arms are a little too close to her side. And also the neck is kind of tilted a little too forward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the skeleton and I'm going to make a few offsets. I am going to go into perspective. I'm going to go into right. I am going to lift her arms by five degrees. And then I'm going to go into front view and I am going to select her neck one bone and I'm going to push this back by 10 degrees. Now you can play around with this and you can move the neck two bone five degrees forward. Feel free to play around with this, but once we get out of here, we're gonna go to modify pose and use current pose and save all. 
And now we're going to go back to that FBX file and we are going to retarget it again. And now I am going to head over to Sequencer. I'm going to right click over here, go to properties, and I'm going to select the new animation. And as soon as I click out, notice the neck moves and the arms move in a different position. So I'm going to play this and just a word of caution, when you make an offset, um, you could possibly be fixing one area, but breaking another. For example, the hands aren't touching anymore. There's one last thing I want you to um, take note of. In this portion of the animation, when the character leans down, you're going to notice that the feet kind of float up a little bit. And um, there's a little bit of foot sliding. And I have put the uh, puppet um, next to the metahuman. So you can see that there isn't any foot sliding in the actual data. MVN does a really good job with their HD reprocessing to remove any kind of foot sliding. So I figured out that if I go into the animation retargeting options, um, when we switched everything to skeleton, I played around with this and I noticed that, for example, let's look at this upper arm corrective root. If I change this to animation relative, Notice that all of a sudden her shoulder has volume and um, I'll go ahead and do the other shoulder and this actually looks really good. So changing everything to skeleton isn't always the best idea and I still haven't figured out the perfect combination but let's take a look at the legs now. So I'm going to select the, um, the first leg and by the way notice how they are pretty long. They go through the floor. So I'm going to select the, um, and also take note of the way the um, pelvis area looks. So I'm going to select the first leg and immediately you notice it pops up to um, the floor and so does the other one. The only issue with this, and it does fix the foot sliding or the foot um, lifting up off the ground. So I'm going to scroll through this. Um, the only issue I'm having is that the legs are squished together. So I did some more testing and um, so what I did was I took this T-pose and I went ahead and I measured the metahuman. I went into developer, bones, and over here in perspective, I'm going to go to uh, front view so I can actually see it. And when you're in this uh, view port, if you uh, middle mouse click and hold it down, you can uh, drag this and you can measure the metahuman and um, these measurements are in centimeters. So in MVN, I've selected an animation and in the body dimensions, I can change the body dimensions. Um, I'm going to go ahead and measure the metahuman and I'm going to input the uh, dimensions of the metahuman. Before you do this, I do recommend you make a copy of that animation file. Uh, I've gone ahead and I've um, measured the metahuman and I've saved it so that next time I can just go to load and I can load those dimensions. And um, I've been testing this out as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, HD reprocess. Now if you um, don't have HD reprocessing you can also do uh, normal processing but I'm going to export this out as an FBX and re-import it into Unreal and retarget it. So I've already done that and I want you to notice that um, the legs are no longer squished together. Uh, we have some volume in the arms and everything is looking great. Um, and also there isn't any of that um, foot sliding or lifting. So um, again, this is more of a work in progress. So this brings us to the end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you learned anything new or made anything cool based on what you learned from this, please like, subscribe, follow, and tag me on social media so I can see what you made. Thank you for watching. Bye!